We're surrounded by three word phrases. Uh, the ad people and the politicians love them. Think about some of those three word phrases you know. Education, education, education. Get Brexit done. Just do it. Every little helps. Because we're surrounded by them, sometimes we can get a bit cynical. But actually the Bible gives us three words to live by and they're the best three words. One of the ways that the Apostle Paul summarises the Christian message are in these three words, faith, love and hope. Those are words that we're using as the title of our series on Sunday mornings this autumn here at St Paul's and they're taken from the early verses of a letter that Paul wrote to a church in Thessalonica. It's in Greece, maybe some of you have been there. And Paul begins the letter with those words and all the way through they're threaded through and they give us a basis to know what does it look like to live as Jesus's people. Now this church was in need of encouragement, it's why Paul wrote that letter. Paul had been with them less than a month, maybe uh, just three uh, Sabbath days, three Saturdays. And in that time he told them about Jesus, a church had wonderfully been born, but then persecution quickly followed on its heels. In fact, Paul was hounded out of town. Now imagine that you are that young church. You've been Christians for less than a month, now trouble is on your doorstep, maybe you're full of doubts and questions. Or imagine you're Paul, what might you be feeling leaving these young believers behind? Maybe you're full of fears or there are things you want to say. Well, this letter is Paul's answer to that. He writes in response of good news he received from the church. He writes to encourage them. You are the real thing. You're showing signs of being genuine Christians. To equip them with a knowledge of the truth and particularly a knowledge of the God who's at work in their lives. To exhort them to say you've been following Jesus this far, but now do it more and more and then to orientate them, to show them that everything they're to do is to be done in the light of Jesus's future return. It's a relatively short letter, it's heartfelt and passionate, and I hope it's one that will do us great good. The church is called a model church. That's a big thing to say, and so it helps to show us, well, what does it look like to live as Jesus's people? And so whoever we are, uh, whether we're someone who wouldn't yet say we're a Christian, I hope this book will show us, well, what does it mean to be a follower of Jesus? If we're perhaps younger to Christianity, what foundations that we need in our lives? And if we've been following him for many years, uh, what it is that will help us go on to do that more and more? That we might be encouraged, that we might be equipped, that we might be exhorted, and that we might be orientated to have Jesus' return in our sights. So whoever you are, you're really welcome on Sunday mornings here at St Paul's, 10.30 during this autumn season. And if you've got chance beforehand, why not find a Bible and read Acts chapter 17 verses 1 to 9 before this Sunday. That will give you a little bit of background to the story. I really hope that it will enable us to grow in faith and love and hope that we might please God more and more. Many thanks. Thank you.